Hello everyone, hope you are learning. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly count 361. Um, an easy one, uh, you just have to write the implementation of the, what, the, what the problem is saying. So it says that you are given two integers low and high. Okay. Now an integer x consists of two into n digits. Uh, okay. And it is known as symmetric if the sum of first n digits of x is equals to the sum of last n digits of x. Okay. Numbers with an odd number of digits are never symmetric. So a number is given. If the first half, uh, if the sum of first half of digits is equal to the sum of second half of the digits, that is known as symmetric number, right? Now, obviously, if you have odd number of digits in a number, uh, that cannot be symmetric, right? Uh, return the number of symmetric integers in the range low to high, okay? Um, I'll directly go to the implementation. Nothing fancy is needed to be very honest. So this is the main function. You have low, you have high. Answer is equal to zero, okay? You start from low, you go till high, i plus plus. Now, if this is a uh, what do you call it symmetric number you just increment the count or else you do not increment the count finally you return the answer now the core logic is how to check whether a number is valid or not right so what i've done is i've converted the number into a string because that makes it easy right because uh, if i convert it into a string finding the number of digits will be easy so that's what i've done you convert it into a string if the length of the string is odd you return false because that can never be symmetric right now i've taken two variables first half sum second half sum i goes from 0. So first you go from 0 to x dot length divided by 2. First sum is equals to, uh, keep on adding the characters, right? Whatever is the character minus 0, right? We are subtracting the ASCII value. Similarly, for the second half, what you do? Uh, you, st you, you resume from where you left, okay? So you start from x dot length by 2. This is where you came out of the loop. You start the second loop from here, you go till x dot length, i plus plus, second sum is equals to this. Keep on adding the sum. Finally, first sum equals to second sum, you return true, else you return false, right? This is how you solve this problem. A totally implementation place, no no logic needed here, I would say. Uh, the only thing is, yeah, if you convert it into a string, it makes a little bit easy uh, to solve this problem. Um, and yeah, that's the only observation in this problem. Otherwise, what you'll, you'll do, you'll, you'll, you'll have to count the digits, right? Manually by running a loop. Uh, this gives you directly what's the length of the string, right? Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's it for the solution. I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, do let me know if you have any issues related to the solution or you have any other solution in your mind. Let me know in the comment section. I'll go through each one of them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.